one thing that I mean, I definitely would take away from what you did there in terms of building something on Shopify and then getting a job there uh, is a lot of times when let's say candidates or you know if if you've been laid off recently and you're trying to get a job or you're trying to find your first job is the lack of number of candidates who've not even tried the product of mm. the company that they're applying to so and of course this is not applicable in all situations but in a lot of situations let's say for example if it's a, if you're applying to Shopify have you even tried using Shopify you know or let's say you're applying to SoundCloud or Spotify, you've used it, you've had like these curated lists. Yeah. And so you've immersed yourself in that prospective company's product or service. And, and you can speak to it as a, not only as a user or power user, uh, but also from your experience. Uh, yeah. and, and that, that, that is like one of the ways of standing out from the rest. Definitely. Actually, you know, it's a hard sell with Shopify because it's like, you know, is it realistic for Shopify to expect every applicant to give a real thorough shot at starting a business before applying to Shopify? No. You know, so I think if when I see applicants who have used the product, absolutely, they stand out. Um, um, but I also even give this advice to people already working for Shopify because there are lots of uh, folks in um, especially on the marketing team. And they're wondering like, how do I get to that next level within Shopify? And I ask, well, have you used the product? Like, and they'll say no. And I'm like, we're marketers. Like we need to be able to speak directly to why someone would use this. What's the pain point? What's their hope? What's their dream? And if you haven't used the product, you are always going to be less literate in that than someone who has. So um, I know it's a big ask, but it pays off um in the, the familiarity with uh with the product and i just think like you know with, when you're when you're starting if it's your own business or events or whatever um everyone has the ability to create bullet their own resume bullet points from scratch uh and so if you feel like there's a career you want to get into or a job you want to have and you just need to show a little bit more of whatever certain skill just try to offer doing it for free to someone and just go from there. And that, that initiative will really, I mean, stand out because the less, the less your manager feels like they'll need to show you every single step of your career and more like they get to, you know, sit back and guide you as you blossom and find your own path. That's, a, that's, that's the relationship I prefer with, with uh, people that I hire and folks on my team.